hi guys <laughs> welcome back to my channel so it is thursday it is holiday today is independence day i'm coming off of the road it's literally 11 o'clock now so by now i can realize that i'll be late video me go now be late and i video me go now because me is a girl on the road i'm everybody on the road but i decide to say i'm going to shoot my videos because a girl can get inconsistent like me have to shoot my video then but before we get into this video i need you guys to subscribe to my channel i'm still trying to get to 500 subscribers by the end of summer and hopefully 1000 subscribers by the end of the year so my pussy how that go to comment down below if you guys want me to like call you a name and if you guys have any name in mind then just comment it down below so we can kind of know spice up things a little bit because i think a full time of me get comfortable on the channel and say yeah you get what me i say mm -hmm. and by the way guys i did my own makeup as a good girl yeah so yesterday on instagram i asked you guys to like give me a list of things that you guys wanted me to do in this video and from the list i chose to do a story time only because the other stuff would have needed much more operations and as i said i was on the road today so you know couldn't really get for do nothing to prepare for the other stuff so i'm going to do a story time and my first heartbreak or what i thought was a heartbreak at the time so let me give you a little backstory of how I met the guy or whatever. So I was in the tenth grade and when I said this that the person I gonna say they may talk and a lot of persons are going to that I'm talking about this person but I don't care. Everybody have a story or whatever. So I was in the tenth grade and this guy came to my school. So you know when somebody knew for this before I cut the video. You know when somebody knew come at the school like I don't know if I something with a me alone see but people tend to like gravitate to them especially if it's a guy like a bunch of girl normally like him or whatever so he wasn't really somebody that i was really interested in to be really really honest i thought he was very conceited and he was very cocky and but as i always say no men are going to be friend men are like him I'm always thinking that I like, make it because we've never ever held a conversation. But like in you know, the last last part of 10th grade is that we started exchanging conversations more and we started talk more and my name girlfriend and some about him girlfriend or whatever and I'm the type of person that people get close to or the type of person people sit down and talk to. I mean that. Yeah. So I think we started talking at school like during breaks or whatever and this one day we were talking in a class and this other boy came to my class and then my talk to me about me and the guy used to like if you guys saw my first first story time when i tell you about my suspension the same guy that told me i used to talk to at lunchtime would it like me that same boy came into the class and would i talk so after the boy leave he was like are your boyfriend that and i'm like no but like man i know he did have an attitude and i'm like why this boy have an attitude he met me or something but never really appeared in a man because as i said the boy i have him girlfriend i know the girl i'm like the girl or whatever anyways long story short somebody i keep a school one day and i think digital it was a digital truck did come and everybody did outside the dance and i'm gonna give you free things and i'm sending this girl to me for asking for my number and i said no make him come to me himself like when to shy as i said he was very conceited people in fright of him i'm gonna have a of him so look a girl in my friend feel you can't send them come to me you come to me yourself anyways you guys want me to bring this a bit closer let me see i'm gonna bring it a bit closer let me feel like one of the too far from me i'm wanting to figure what i say i'm wanting to look at my face i'm here talk <laughs> anyways him come to me him ask for my number i put the number in my phone 
we start to explore what's up more. I never tell my friend them some give my number because I always tell them some I like him. So I never tell them some give my number. Anyways, we we'll text and we we'll talk until we eventually figure out the same like me. But when I tell him what people with me I deal with or whatever. And many friends them talk as well, but we never ever come to a conclusion so we liked each other. Like, you know, after texting somebody, yeah, you know, you're up with them a little bit, you start like them. It was like that for me and him. Like, but it start like him after a while. And I think over the summer, we got super close. Like, we texted a lot. Like, we texted way too often. We talked on the phone. I think we were both abroad and we video call and all that good stuff. Like, we did talk a lot. September come, and I think he was talking to this other girl. Different from the girl he was talking to in grade 10. And there was some controversies. So, he basically gave me a girlfriend number some mistakes are. So I text him and I'm like, oh hey, what's up? Like, you know, mega call him. Oh, I'm gonna call him because I was just about to call his name. I'm okay under that. I'm gonna call him. Mm -mm, can't call him that either. Too close to the name. Um, I'm gonna call the boy Alex. I can't remember Alex because I would never talk to Alex. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna call him Alex. So. I was like, oh hey, Alexa mama texts you and she's like, hey, what's up? And she basically like, gave me a rundown of the whole story between she and the girl and she's like, well, I'm going to school tomorrow, I'm going to fight her. And I'm like, sis, don't fight her unless I come. So, all your own till me reach because I want to see. Anywho, we go to school, she and the girl have them little argument. I'm going to them class. I'm going to tell her, say, no, it's not even worth it. This girl is not even worth it. Are you in love? But whatever, like, I was playing this boy's best friend. Friend, I knew him did like me like I knew this guy liked me but I never really entertained it because I knew him having a girlfriend and I know the girl and that's me and the girl are cool we weren't friends don't get me wrong we weren't friends we were only cool because him and are cool it was that type of cool or it's a person that I see at school I'm gonna talk to her but you know it's just like hi candy that's not her name by the way I'm just saying it was like hi candy and she was just like oh hi Karina your hair look nice or whatever just like exchanging compliments and all that good stuff it was no close talk to me I never know the girl close 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 for say whatever anyways time start wind down time start wind down at this point I think we were in maybe I want to say October October yeah, we in October. The two of them stop talk. Period. Them stop talk, and I don't. I can't remember how me and him start talk or what happened for we start talk. But I think we were texting, and he's like, "Listen, I like you," or something like that. I don't want to tell no life on the boy. I'm gonna say probably I go watch this because you watched my previous video. I mean, I want to say life on the boy, but it just it was basically like, listen, stop playing around. We're going to stop playing around and we're going to talk or whatever. And he was like the first boy that I really let inside my circle, circle, like going to high school, it takes boys, but it was really not serious. So he was kind of like one of the first boys for me, really. I don't want to say that because I know somebody else is going to take offense to this. Because I spoke to this boy in ninth grade, comes all the way up to grade eleven, but it never really serious. It was like a long distance relationship. We weren't really seeing each other, so I don't want to say this, and him feel bad. But it was the first person that I was seeing every day, and we have physical contact with each other every day. So it was kind of like my first real relationship as a school girl. As a school girl, my first real relationship. So yeah, no, we start talk, and I never tell my friend them once more. I never tell them some the boy I talk because they kind of add it. So shy, I'm never tell them. So I think some wallpaper business did happen. Is either me did it for the wallpaper or even for my wallpaper and them seeds. I think I did have him for my wallpaper on WhatsApp or something like that and them seeds, and it was excitement like. Mega go on Snapchat and find the clip when them are video me. 
it was except into my classroom let's see if we can find it on snapchat if my internet allows me to because i have very poor internet but i'm gonna see like i'm gonna try to insert it right the cell phone still them babe today when them find out to me and the boy i talk and then i say like we know we know something like each other can't tell me nothing a long time we like each other and like me just they yeah, smell like a big idiot girl but like the bad thing about us talking was that the girl found out that we were talking and she was like, you could wait for me and him to stop talking for you and him talk and all this thing I could and I said if I'm sad. I'm really kind of feel bad. I'm not going to tell you, I'm really kind of feel bad because if nobody never know how the story go, it would have looked like that had happened. And that really wasn't what happened. It's just like two people they build chemistry from a long time and it just so happened that we were speaking to other people because men next guy they stopped talking at eleventh grade too. It just happened so we did talk to other people honestly. So what happened is we groove, we go through and it was such a short relationship like just listen, just listen. So now it touched November, them time day, coming close to exam time. We are in general of a relationship. We come to school with each other. We never really talk at school either because in we were, I'm going to say, because everybody know, we were in the same exact class. So like me stood up at the front and he was sitting at the back. But his friends weren't in our class. He only had like one friend in the class. Yeah, you only have one friend in the class, one male friend, and then the next female friend. But the female friend and I were really, really close in 11th grade. So, like, when I go down there, go talk to her. So, that's the only time would I really talk. Or at lunchtime, if I go down there, talk to her, me and I talk. Or if him come up, come talk to me, then we'll talk. After school, we'll go home sometimes together. Only sometimes, because, yeah, only sometimes. Uh,. And this is where the problem in our relationship came in and this is how the heartbreak began so my problem was that i felt as if i was in a relationship with him and his best friend so if i say something and the best friend said something then he would go with what the best friend said and like me that one really i met them time there i should have know like i should have read like me should have see the red flag them and take for myself but me they were a man so i'm still in a relationship it wasn't even a relationship because I was a child. I was a kid. And we never did the relationship things. We want to see each other at school and take so we go home. Anyways, no. Um, I start complaining, complaining about it. My friend, them always accost my feet. And like, anytime them see me on the school with a girl, them come back, come tell me. I don't know if this really, really happened, but... You know him play football, him there come from a bright school, transfer girl all over him and I was kinda insecure. I won't tell a lie, I was kinda insecure because what's the boy like that do with a girl like me? Like I was just quiet nerd. I was prefect. I never really out and about. Everybody didn't know me because yeah. But I wasn't one of those girls where I never want to have a bad girl in my school where they start to for man or man go see me and say, you know, I like her, like, me link her. I wasn't that type of girl at school. So certain little things I was insecure about and I never really knew when to stop or, you know, when to let certain things go. And I think as young girls, like, we must know, like, we must have self-worth and we must know when for you know draw the line and cut off certain little things that make a boy and say listen you know more than me me more than you so you forgo over this and make a stay by yourself with my good self and you can go and go the way you do anyways may ignore all of the red flag them call sometime can't get him the texting get off remember we start talk like in october i meant to say like late november now and not even one month good like things just off and him a comment on him ex picture on Facebook and I'm like what like this one time I tell my friend them say I'm done with him like me not talk to him and then one of my friends send a screenshot in the group chat when him comment on him ex picture and I was like it's whatever like if you know me I always put up this strong person or this nonchalant as you like I don't care about nothing so I was just like okay I don't care but like I called my other friend crying like I was crying like I felt so heartbroken like why y'all coming upon our picture like dude like we could have a vex in a piece like you could have wait for a vex for coming upon our picture young girl like me just 
The young girl did in love with the boy. The young girl did want the boy. The young girl did f drop in a love with the boy. I'm gonna say drop in a love, drop in a love with the boy. Anyways, um, we still have got through a little rough time till things get good again. My birthday was in December, and when we, we never did really at all either for my birthday. And I don't think he came to school on my birthday and I really wanted him to come to school on my birthday because I wanted to go out in the evening after school, you know. When I got to school, I got to school, I want to go to KFC after school or whatever with a friend him. The boy never come to school, I don't know because he never want to go KFC with me. Or uh, him just not come, him just not come for spite. I feel like he not come for spite. Or I think him say him best friend now come to school, say him now come to school either. Just to show you how the boy put him friend him over me like, I don't know how many so that's so long, like, I don't know how I sat in that so well so long. I sit on like a big comfortable yamed. Anyways, my friend got KFC the day. He was whatever. You know, one come your business that. He comes school the next day and he brought my gift. And he could even take it out and give me it in front of everybody. He sent my feet in the bag. Me being the yamed that my is, I got feet because I was a prefer and theme. So I did things say. Yeah, he was a good day. He was a good I got to cut the present out time bag. The gift was really cute though. It was some nice diamond earrings. But it cost a whole lot of money. Yeah. Then it cost money. And I was very grateful for it. I still have one of them. I lost the other one when I went overseas. But I still have one. I promise you I have one. Same me with this for my dress up. Anyways. Exam come. Exam done. Excuse me. Exam come. Exam done. I think both are with the other far in December on the same day. Yeah, but I'll go with our foreign. And we talk on video call every day while we're overseas. Like everything there go alright, everything there go smooth. I feel like one in love girl. All the problem then it stop because when they run in friend them, the two are with their foreign. And things alright and things cool. So Remember when I said never ever ever like I'm gonna start my truth right here so I'm gonna see it now and I really don't care for it anymore because at some point the truth have to come out. So you remember when I said I sent somebody my nudes and they exposed it? It was this guy. I don't care. People are gonna know say I hate me I talk now because everybody knows better talk to them time then. But yeah, it was this guy, so we did overseas and I said mom never ever do before and I feel so embarrassed saying it now, but as I said the truth have to come out sometimes. I sent it to you. So I'm gonna tell you all the things that were happening leading up to the breakup and why I was so heartbroken. Sent it to him or whatever and still a virgin at that time, wasn't having sex. So certain little things never feel I never feel comfortable doing. And for some reason I trusted him enough to do that. So I sent it to him not expecting him to do anything with it and even though my friend him really really close and they come like me and him friend in a relationship and him i'm still not expecting to send it to the friend or show it to the friends so i'm gonna send it to him cool december done we'll go back to school i think him to come back to jamaica before me and when we come back to school he was already going to school so i came back to school like a week after school opened and he was already there Anyways, I'm a prefix, so I had prefect duties. I'm coming never did a week before. I had to be doing double duties the week that I came back. So I normally do like canteen duty like two times for the week. I was doing canteen duty for the entire week that week. Monday morning, I come to school. January, the time normally cool at Jamaica or rain or fall or something like that. Yeah. So I think in the day canteen and I was on duty and him waved to me, like called me over to him and I went over to him and he was like, when you finish your duty, come link me. And I was like, all right, cool, where are you? And he pointed at the canteen to put in front of my student. So I was like, okay, cool. Did my duty for the, the half period of lunchtime and I went over there with them and then I ordered my lunch and sat back down. And you know, we have a little vibe and thing, but it was off like everybody energy was off and it wasn't my friends so i couldn't really read the room but i know the energy was off and it never really at all but when he waved over to me like it was so comforting like hey like you're back at school you know you all right you eat already where you gonna eat your lunch like he was being so comforting and i'm like how oh, your attitude changed from this to that bro like how oh, that happened anyways 
I never really admit it. I want boy and I want relationship. I'm saying I can't see you with nice boy. Like, who can tell me nothing? Anyways, sit down there, get lunch, go class, got bell ring by the time I forget food. We're going class, and I think after school, I had Spanish orals. So I had rehearsals so of Spanish orals. I did Spanish in grade 11. And I told him that I was going to the canteen to practice before I went home because as soon as I go home, I eat that for me. I'm not study. So I'm a girl that like, is really dedicated to my schoolwork, especially in high school. Like I was dedicated. So I was like, Mega stay back. Are you going to stay back with me? And he said yes. And then by the time I reach on the stairs, him, him friend say, I'm going to go away. And bro, look, come in on my face and tell me, I'm going to go away with him friend. And I said, like, How you feel? You know what? Goodbye. Like, yeah, bye. Just go on because you staying here so right now, or like, get me more upset. So just go on with a friend. Them. Like, you know, my head, I say, you know what? Just go on with a friend. Them. Anyways, me and a few girls from in my class. I'm not taking my friend to stay with me either. Just me and some people did they can't see. I think one of my friends were there. And we did there, we had practice, and we had write and sing, and we had drill each other or whatever. And like, half an hour after, I see my name friend walk come to the canteen, and this, you know, my name friend, them football boys welcome to the canteen and sit down and my friend touched me so she said oh you see alex gone and then say him gone and she said no scene over the song wow matters in my mother this time i got um one circus because um clone me that boy took me for a big clone i also said nothing i look up and look up upon them and realize i'm seeing my wall over my head like Deep deep down, I need a function. I don't behave like me a function, but I never did a function. Anyways, I sit down. I still go like, alright. I question people that I question me. I go like everything fine and alright. So she said, like, what you gonna do? I said, when I finish my walk come out, I walk past him and let me see him. Anyways, I finish the morals. I walk out of the canteen and my friend and I go to the gate and my friend that was there with me she lived town side so she like go across the road from my bus stop so she gone across the road my son from my bus stop away from bus it was kind of late evening so bus barely had come now bus barely had come from portmore so stand up one good look while and him come out and see me and him said him friend come call me and as him friends say i'm go up on a bus like as him friends say yo alexa call you i'm go up on a bus like oh yeah come out the door come get yeah, <laughs> Hey, right and i was petty as hell like i was such a petty i was so petty back like my petty no no but i was even more petty like my petty yeah the petty my petty bad i'm up on a bus oh my god my don't text him and then my text him text i think he texts him never answer anyways come school the next day I apologize or whatever we will again because as i say my mom is the best for the one like the time right there so the energy start get off again like the energy off like going down into february the energy just off like something sitting all right sitting and sitting on right i'm just not read the room i'm not read the signs i'm still a push up another boy like me I push up in him same way same way same way me I push up in him february come and I'm not going to ever forget this day, like, you see, if I never, like, I add it a little bit, I'm going to put the clip right there, so, for sure, the day when everything happened. So, I did go down to the back of the class, which part him sit down before lunchtime, and all the way, I snap and I take picture and team for one friend in the class, the best friend, he's not in our class, as I said before, but he was in the class at the time. I'm coming out of the class. And we had take snaps and thing. Me and the female friend don't they take snaps and we are snapping my other we are snapping a laugh and have a good time. I was wearing this rag a romanic, like you know them big rag them, maybe have one of them romanic and him take it from me and then him go in on one corner by himself and throw the rag over him face. So I was like like just like how your mood just shift like that, like how your mood just shift like that. And me I talk to him and him not answer and then lunchtime come I'm gonna go over this. I'm like, oh, you're good? Him not answer. So I was like, like, what the hell did I do? Like, I'm gonna start blaming myself at the same time. Like, during the course of that relationship, like, the only thing I regret is that I doubted my self worth a lot. Like, I was thinking, what can I do different? What me can do, brother? Like, I'm not have sex at the phone. I'm not ready for that. So, if I don't make a change, it's gonna be the end of the relationship because I'm just not ready. Anyways, 
I left him alone and go back up at the front to show my friend them there. And I was snapping him. My friend must have waited him and I said, I don't know what with him. In the evening, I stayed back again to do some work. And him did wait with some of my female friends them. And then all of us go out. No lie. When I tell you, I'm the boy. For the boy never wait for me. I never know what I do. When I go out the road, I see him out there like... I see him out there with them, or them they walk behind me, I just walk out there and I care. And like, me I try to talk to him like, Alex, what's wrong? And him not chat to me. And I'm like, bro, like, I'm better than this. Like, at the first I put myself in a situation like this, like, I've never been in a situation like this where me I run down somebody like, what the hell? I'm continuously do it, like, I keep on doing it. And the boy not pay me the man. And I think I'm going to him come here try like, See if I'm gonna cheer him up if I something to do with him, just don't want to talk about. So I was snapping him and I was like, like talk to me now. And then I went across the road and I was shouting, like, I'm ready for go home, come on the bus now. I was just like, you know what, cool, come on business. When the bus come, I'm gonna it and I see him come on it after. I'm coming with a taxi stand, I'm gonna a taxi, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna go home. Like, no, I look back on it, just come like I want to answer this, but you know, because I could do a relationship that because right through the relationship, may get better, I just never realize. Like, I just did get beer better, I never realize, like, how I never did see all of them, so I just just cut off the boy from the beginning and just go on business. Anyways, reach home, when I text, when I talk, the next day I come to school, I think we were in accounts class, and it was. Um, Second to last session. Not second to la not second to last. It was the two sessions before the two last sessions. So me I scratch my time for pull out and pull it out tomorrow. Jeez. So we were in accounts class and I think the teacher they give well quiz and I'm so busy doing my quiz, may I use my calculator on my phone. I do my quiz, I do my quiz, my quiz up my Calculate up box set balance sheet try a balance like me did I do my thing and me get one message from my phone How could I ever forget the giveaway? I did say I was going to do a giveaway in my la in my next video. So Basically the instructions are the first 20 persons to refer my youtube channel to 10 persons and screenshot it and send to me their 10 subscriptions they win a hundred dollar phone card so the first 20 people to make 10 people subscribe to my channel and they can send me the screenshot of their 10 subscriptions then only win one credit whether flow or digital and you have to be the one to send me the screenshot with your 10 subscriptions so when them subscribe make them screenshot it and send it to you and they send it to me on instagram of course at just that k so it's two underscore just dot k and for persons that have my whatsapp number you can whatsapp me goodbye